Hi there, my name is Don Prashker. I'm coming to you from ThermaPro Solutions. Uh, we are bed bug specialists, and today we're going to talk to you about the psychology of having bed bugs, either in your home or in your business. Uh, we'll start about having bed bugs in your home. Um, we've had many experiences of people um, panicking, having uh, all sorts of psychological issues um, because having bed bugs in their home, what it does is it steals your sleep until you get rid of the bed bug problem. Uh, you tend to be repeating the same thoughts over and over again in your head that you have bed bugs, they're getting you at night, you feel itchy, uh, you avoid your bed. Uh, we have seen people not talk to their spouses, their children, or their coworkers about the problem uh, because of the stigma attached. They have bites, they cover it up with long sleeve shirts or turtlenecks uh, and are embarrassed um, to go through their day due to having these these skin irritations due to the bed bug bites. The only way to get rid of the skin irritations is to get rid of the bed bugs. So uh, you need to talk to somebody, usually a professional, an exterminator, to help you get rid of the bed bugs or create a, a plan of action uh, so you can start doing something to get rid of the bed bugs. Bed bugs never go away on their own. They will always get worse. Uh, there's a stigma attached to bed bugs. People don't uh, like talking about them in their work environment um, or to their family because uh, they're afraid of not getting invited to birthday parties or Christmas dinners or just uh, being included in the social uh, crowd because they've been ostracized by having bed bugs. So what that does is that creates a fear and people don't talk about it and they try and get rid of it themselves by either going down to their local hardware store and buying a, a, a pressurized pesticide in a can and spraying as much of that as they can in and around their bed area which is completely usually ineffective at killing the eggs and what it does is it actually spreads the problem from one room to the next or one floor to the next. Calling a professional is usually the best course of action when they have bed bugs. If you get bed bugs in a hotel, uh, it's a whole bunch of different kind of psychology behind it because now your guests are worried if they happen to find it first. Uh, your staff are worried and you as an owner, of course, are, are worried about the brand loyalty. Uh, so we'll start with the guest and what we wanna do is make sure that they're protected uh, so even as a guest, when you walk into a hotel, don't be shy to ask them at their front desk what their bed bug protocol is. If they tell you they don't have one, that's a bad answer. If they tell you that all our staff are trained, our, uh, they know what to look for, our rooms are inspected regularly, and if there is an issue, the hotel will take full responsibility, that's the answer of a responsible hotel. Uh, that hotel has probably had a bed bug problem in the past and has now learned to be proactive in the future. Once you get to your hotel room, you want to do a full inspection yourself. Uh, you want to put your bags in the bathroom or in the bathtub, believe it or not, is the safest place before you uh, know what's going on in your bed. Um, and then lift up the corners of the sheets, the covers, and even right to the bed itself, if there's a, a mattress cover or protector, lift that up and get to the mattress, what's called the ticking. Um, the ticking is uh, the border of the mattress, and that's where bed bugs love to hide underneath the fabric. Uh, in the corner of box springs, there's little plastic pieces on the corners. Don't be shy to look inside there where the staples on the bottom meet the, uh, the hotel bed. Um, you want to also check that. There's a big place uh, where bed bugs like to hide. If you see any bed bugs, go back down to the front desk and ask for another room. Another room. Ask them um, to give them uh, uh, an inspection in that room and that before they put another guest in there that they might want to check it out. If you do have an experience on your vacation in a hotel with bed bugs, you want to be sure to be very vigilant when you get to your front door. Um, the way to do that is to uh, pack all your belongings inside bags, um, your suitcases inside big garbage bags, and put that into your garage. Go in your home, change your clothes, bring that garbage bag with the suitcase back down to the dryer and put all the contents into the dryer. Put the suitcase back into the garbage bag and leave it there to your next vacation. If that's two days, two weeks, two months, or two years from now, go back to that suitcase, open it up, take your vacuum cleaner, and vigorously vacuum every corner inch uh, of, that, uh, of that suitcase, making sure you're, you're very thorough. Uh, take a, um, a Lysol wipe and get in between the cracks and the zippers and the corners, making sure that you are clean the whole suitcase uh, before you use it again. Repeat that process every time you travel. It's one great way of not bringing bed bugs into your home. The hotel industry has a problem with bed bugs. They know it. They're doing something about it. Uh, the high turnover rate of renting out rooms on a nightly basis puts them in a very high percentage of getting the problem. 
you being proactive when you come home, uh, making sure you don't bring that problem back into your home is the biggest step you can take when it comes to bed bugs.